Details at One Television Plaza. This is WTAP News at 6. People in the area remember the fallen on Memorial Day. Good evening and thank you for joining us this Memorial Day. I'm Phyllis Smith. The American Legion Post 64 hosted its annual Memorial Day Parade. The parade is held every year to honor the veterans who have we have lost over the past year. It's an emotional day for all. Our Karan Alston has more. By the dawn's early light. It's very emotional to me because I served with the 25th Infantry Division in Vietnam, 67, 68. And every year we still have reunions uh, with my Charlie Company, 25th Infantry Division. Memorial Day brings out the emotions for many people across the United States, especially Commander Kern, who most cherishes the Brotherhood during days like this. When you're in combat, there is a certain brotherhood that you never, never will forget. So that's a lot of what we remember, not only our heroes that have died in the past year, but we also remember veterans that gave their, sacrificed everything for the service of the country. Memorial Day is a day to honor those fallen, but for some it brings a sense of closure and pride. It does because I, I also serve on the honor guard and we do the funerals for our fallen comrades. So it's very personal to me and sometimes it uh, gets a little closer to home than I, I'd like to, uh, I expect, I guess. For many cities across the nation, holding these events within city limits wouldn't be possible without the support for the veteran community. Our mayor, Josh Licker, he's very supportive of veterans, and I think you could see the police department showed up today and the Marietta Fire Department as far as the honor guard, and it's just a very worthwhile relationship that we have. From Marietta, Crom Austin, WTAP News, this is home. The Belfry area veterans held a Memorial Day service with Levitt Funeral Service. A small group joined the veteran group in remembering and honoring veterans who are no longer with us. Belfry area veterans Army President Bill Harpold says this event is not only centered around veterans who are gone, but to highlight the families who are impacted by the veterans that are no longer here. The families are impacted deeply, not only their blood family, but the BAV or the Bell Prairie Veterans family and the community's veterans. And with the um, recognition that we can give the, the fallen is the best thing we can do. And hopefully it brings a little bit of comfort to the families that are still surviving. The service featured a number of speakers from those in the group and the Sons of the American Revolution to Belpre Mayor Mike Lorenz. Harpold wants to thank Levitt for hosting this service for the 16th year in a row. Turning to the weather, it was a beautiful weather today. Meteorologist Kirk Greenfield joins us now with the first look at your forecast. Kirk? It's been sunny and hot in the mid-Ohio Valley, but cloud cover and rain is not far away. When we take a look at our view here on the Jan Dills Marietta Skycam atop the Lafayette Hotel, we're up to 84 now, and we're looking at 37% relative humidity, so a fair drying day. The winds most recently were reported as just 3 miles per hour, somewhat light and variable, and the pressure, 29.91 inches, is falling. When we take a look at our evening planner, we expect to be sunny and 75 at 8 o'clock with another hour of daylight left. But then we slip into the 60s and we're about 65 around midnight when it'll be mostly clear. Now, we are not necessarily going to be able to stay dry all that period, but if there's a shower, it'll be a brief one. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Back to you. Thank you, Kirk. An artist in Washington County is helping to fight food insecurity in the area through her work. Our Mitchell Bleha talked to the artist about how she is getting this done. I love portraiture, um, mostly because I think that to really get the essence of somebody's face, that's, that's who they are. Emily Stewart Turner is a local artist who enjoys painting people she admires. Some include David Bowie, Amy Winehouse, and most recently, Cincinnati Bengals quarterback, Joe Burrow. 
Emily is auctioning the Burrow painting and will send the money to the Heisman winning quarterbacks foundation. Being an artist, you don't always have the most money. So um, the best thing that I could do was to create something and kind of bridge that gap between people that can buy art and, you know, donating to the, the uh, foundation. Burroughs Foundation focuses on combating food insecurity in Southeast Ohio. That's something Emily says she sees a lot of as someone from the area. So I see every day, you know, the poverty and the generational poverty and the uh, the food insecurity. I see the, you know, the mental health crises that goes along with that as well. So um, something that is very important to me because of my history here in this area and, and just the fact that we don't really have a whole lot of um, people to look up to and a lot of resources in this area too. Emily says even though she is a Kansas City Chiefs fan, Burrow has a special place in her heart for what he is doing. So he's got a lot about him that, that shows that he's um, willing to do what it takes to be the best. And I wanted to kind of show that in, in the um, poses that I picked. In Marietta, this is Mitchell Blayhut, WTAP News, this is home. A car show that was supposed to be in a Belfry this morning has been rescheduled. The fifth annual Memorial Day Salute to Veterans Car Show put on by the Blennerhassett Corvette Association was scheduled to be in Civitan Park at 10 this morning. Several people showed up to the park with their cars only to find out the event had been canceled due to forecasted rain. It has been moved to Saturday, June 3rd. The event will have a $15 entry fee and door prizes. The money will go to local charities and veteran organizations. The Taste of Parkersburg is coming back for its 16th year this weekend. Downtown PKB's executive director, Amanda Stevens, says you can expect live bands, 16 food vendors, about 19 wine vendors, and three beer trucks. There will be QR codes on signs throughout the event that you can scan to look at menus. I do think that it's become a tradition to a lot of people and it's a time that it may be the only time of the year they see certain friends. And I also think it's nice because we feature local restaurants. She says all vendors are local. The Taste of Parkersburg will be at Bicentennial Park this Saturday. It will last from 5 p.m. to 11. You can buy tickets online in advance for $20 at the Blennerhassett Hotel during the week or online at downtownpkb.com. Tickets at the gate are $25. Andrew Knoll and I will be the MCs. We hope to see you there. Still ahead, a tentative deal has been reached on the debt ceiling. What's in it? We'll tell you more next.